Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 438, find all anagrams in a string. So given a string S and a non-empty string P, find all the star indices of P's anagram in S. So later you will see the condition here and also another condition in non-empty uh, string P. So as we know that and take a look at example right here, we have as x input a string, another string p right here. So uh, the indices of zero, which is in here, you can find the anagram of p. So this means abc is in here that have all the character in p abc here. And also in index uh, right here, six, you also contain the anagram here. Uh, B, A, C also have the same character of A, B, C here. So now we have that two indices and output uh, for the outcome. And another example here, so you have A, B, have A, B, two character. Also B, A is also have A and B in here. Another index of A and B, and that's also contain that two same uh, character. So the output will be this three index. And this one is really, really classic um, because it's using the sliding window. And I think it's really good to demonstrate this question to you um, for the beginning for the sliding window problem. How we uh, take care of this problem is first, we I'll just take a look at example two. Now we have a table of 26 character and you see A and C here, B is here and so on to Z. And we accumulate that we have one A, we also have one B. So this is called table. Oh, hold on. Oh, why is it not writing? Hmm? Okay. Okay, finally. Sorry. So tables right here. So in here we know we need to to balance it. So we need this two from here to balance this out. So now we have a window start left here and also have a window right here. So the, the left side windows in here, right side window here. So we need to expand that. So as we expand it, the right side to here, then we have character A and we see character A and go back to this table and you see, oh, A, we cancel this out. Then since we cancel it out and here it becomes zero. So since this is zero, how many do we need to balance it? It become one. So the two will deduct by one since this is zero right now. So, and we always keep the windows uh, become two, keep the two window. And now we have right in here, and later, because this is only have window one only, you need to expand the window become two range. Then right side will expand it to here. And now you see the window currently is A, B right now. And you see B's right here and come to the table again, cancel, cancel this, deduct it by one. And now we have a balance of zero. So since balance is zero, then we found it. And then what we do is output this left side, left side, which is zero into the array output. And since this window is already fit for the size and we need to move the left pointer to B right here and right pointers right here. So uh, after you move this one, you have to add this back, add the A back in here. 
So after it at a back here, increase the balance again. And then this is one loop and you come back to here to see if the rain windows is size of two. So now windows is size of one, expand the right side, point it to here. So you have B and A, process A. Then uh, you cancel this out, become zero. And there's another balance of zero again. So that's how you keep looping to, in the, to the end of the string. And you find all the possible solution and put it to the array. And this is the idea of the sliding window problem. Uh, let's take a look at the code now. First, we have a list of integer output so equal to new array. So that's just a template. Since P is a non-empty one, so we uh, have a simple edge case check for S. So S is equal to no or S dot link equal to zero. Then what we do is return output. So this S cases. And first thing we need to do is have a table here. So the table will have 26 space. And then we loop through the P, all the characters C in P. Two character array. So every character in here, then we need to put table C minus A in here accumulated. For example, if it's the character is A, A minus A, so it's zero. So that will have a zero as index. Let's put it to the right place. So B will be one for sure. B minus A character is one. So now we accumulate that to the table now. And we'll initialize lab equal to zero. Initialize rise equal to zero. We also initialize a uh, balance. Balance dot lane. So now we know um, we're looking for how many, because P is always two. I mean, I mean P is slings, always the balance. So we're looking for how many character we need to cancel it out. So now we have the balance starting at P dot lane. So now we add the right, it's always less than S dot lane. Th. So we have right loop through the entire S to the end of the S uh, string. What we can do is move the right side. We start moving the right side. So after we move the right side, we need to have, so let's have a um, in current equal to has dot character right side minus a. So this is the right side character and minus a is the index of that character. So we will first table, we will minus that character. For example, you have one and one here because A and B. If we see A, then we minus from here, we deduct it from here because you're adding this to the table. So you minus this from the balance. So if table, curve, the current index is bigger or equal to zero, that means is already deducted from this table. 
um, that's something that they're looking for. So A is, is belong to P. So in that case, um, balance minus minus. So mean balance was deducted by one, two. So you're looking for one less. So you found, you're looking for two and you have one is in here, then you have less, one less character you're looking at, looking for. Then balance deducted one and right also increased by one because you're moving the right windows to the right side. This is how you move the right window. So now we have a check, a check balance. What we check where balance is if balance equal to zero, that means we are looking, finish looking all the balance from uh, P. Then um, we have output at left. So left will be the current uh, windows left side. And that's the indis, indices index that we're looking for. So we add it to the output. And if we check the windows, if the windows smaller than uh, two in here, then you need to expand the right side. But when you expand it to the right two size of two, that means it's fulfilling uh, P's size already. Then you start moving the left pointer. So mean right minus left equal to P dot size, uh, P dot length. At that time, the window needs to change by moving the left side. So we also do the same as moving the right side. So we can keep the current as s dot chart at left and looking for the index of that character and put it to current. So we put the current back to the table because you're deducting one from the, the window. Then we have to add this back to the table to see how many uh, character in that uh, window. And after we add it back, we have a check of table current um, have bigger or equal than one. And the balance will add it back. So after you add one, if the table have one or more that character, that mean the balance should be adding by one because you're looking for more. You give up, you give up one of the thing that belong to this um, table or to belong to P, then you definitely need to add back one more target in the balance. So after that, lab increment by one, two. So this is how we move the lab pointer or windows. So I think this is it for the moving window. And now we turn output. And it looks good. Uh, submit it. Cool. Uh, and I think that's it for this question. Is sometimes it takes me a while to think about the lab windows and it's normal. And I think you should 
try to draw it out and I think it's easier to understand. So other than that, if you have more questions, then please feel free to comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.